Hi, Thomas. How you doing? Okay, I've got your ad up here, and you know, I think it's a good start. I really do. I think that you've got some, some good bones here to start. There's a couple of areas in this this ad that I think are problematic, and I think that it's it's in a way it looks like you've done some things to try to work around some of the shortcomings of the image. Okay, so for example, and I'm just going to tell you the way I'm saying. I don't want to sound discouraging, but right now it appears there's two things that are happening based on the image itself. The first is that this big logo is placed up here because if we move that logo, these hands kind of get cut off in the middle of nowhere, right? The second thing is this kind of fleur de lis right here seems to be placed to draw the viewer's attention away from the fact that this kind of gets cut right there. So, it, you know, so be it. That's what we have to work with, right? But I don't, and then also this big block at the bottom just seems to be. Really, it seems to be forced in there, and this, this portion of the logo seems to be forced in there in a way to kind of work with this image itself. And I think that there's some things that we can do to this ad that are really going to create more visual harmony without the appearance that things have been placed to hide what's already here. I hope that makes sense. One of the main things I think is, is, is one of the problems. Well, first of all, let me start like this. I think that you're showing ex excellent technical proficiency in the app. So you're showing excellent aptitude working in Illustrator and in Photoshop. The, the image is, is done beautifully. It's masked just beautifully. Uh, so it's the 2019. The image itself is adjusted beautifully. Then good, good, nice tonal variations, good range in the image. So, so that's fantastic. Then placing the images in, in Illustrator have done, been done beautifully. The logo, the type, you're showing good proficiency in using Illustrator's types, type tools. So as I said, to me, the problem is that you've got this big bar up here with the logo in it. And then you've got this big bar down here, this gray bar down here. Then you've got this fleur de lis. And it just seems like there's things that are trying to cover up the image. That's what I'm seeing. And again, I don't want to sound discouraging. The other problem I'm seeing is that you've got this. This is begging to be right aligned instead of left aligned. So I, I would right align this since it's sitting right along that right margin. I would right align it. That's going to eliminate these kind of unusual spaces right here, this negative space that's being being created uh, because the, the left aligned type is butted up against the right margin of the page. So I've done so. So I would consider right aligning that. Now I've done some things. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty. I went back into grading. I extracted the Adobe Illustrator file, which is editable, and I made some changes. And let me show you them to you and see if you feel they're a little more effective. Um, and I think they are. I, I think that this is something that that is really uh, a much much cleaner page. Um, and all I've done is I've just increased the size of her so that um, so that she's taking up most of the page. So we don't. So we just have her with this beautiful teal background. Then you've got the masked image, and you've got this masked image, all left aligned, leading right down to the logo. Adding some nice contrast here to the logo uh, to to add some contrast to the page itself. Um, so basically, I think that some sort of variation of this as opposed to this. This is really, really, there's a lot of areas that you're, you're trying to get your viewer to look at here. Here. So basically, the, the, the composition is saying, look at me. No, look at me. No, look at me. No, look at me. No, look at me. So over here in this type of configuration, we're saying, okay, here's the main image, right? And then here's the type. So the image draws the viewer in. And this interesting cropping is really drawing the viewer in. So I would recommend something like that. You could even take, um, you know, try to work with this, maybe even bring this up in the composition, maybe even bring the type up in the composition a little bit. But I just think this is a great place for, for the type. Look at that uh, right margin. Look how clean that right margin is now. But that's all right aligned 
up against that right margin leading right down to you guessed it the logo but one of the things i'm seeing in this is that the, the, right now the, the address is pretty big you can even take this logo and make it a little bit larger to really really try to cover up the fact that half that shoulder is missing and that's due to the cropping of the original image right so so think about that and i think that that's going to be a really nice solution for the ad great negative space working up through here Good balance, wonderful balance, and I think that uh, you know if you want to try, you can even take this this um, 2019 and maybe make it a little bit bigger and place it right up here. Move the text up a little bit and then increase the size of the logo to cover that up. But some sort of variation of this, as opposed to trying to cover things with with uh, blocks and bars. Okay, and again, I really don't want to start discouraging when I say that, but that's what I'm seeing in, in the composition. So um, so think about it, try it. And I think you're going to be very satisfied with the, the results. I think it's going to be a much, much cleaner ad. Okay. All right. Good job. Now, um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know and I'll be glad to address um, um, this, but those are the recommendations I would make for your, your final ad. Okay, thank you very much.